Hello and welcome to my presentation on how to consolidate your freezers with FreezerWorks. Over time you'll have find you'll have gaps in many boxes and racks throughout your freezer and you may want to move all the aliquots uh, together in the same order that they are currently in but move them so that all these gaps are filled up and so that you can uh, better manage your freezer. I'm going to show you how to do that using freezer works. We have a couple of ways to do it. You can use the move aliquots option and there's a video on using this option but we're going to want to use assigned positions to existing aliquots. So what I'm going to do here is give you an example here. I have a, I'm going to go to explore freezers and I have a freezer here called freezer 1 physical. Freezer 1 physical there is a shelf here shelf 2 and I want to consolidate shelf 2. I have a box in uh, rack A, first box, and I've got all these empty positions up here. I want to move all these aliquots, keep in the order, up here. And then after that, the next box and the next aliquots, I want to move underneath them. So that would be this box here. So you can see there's gaps throughout here. I want to close up these gaps and move these aliquots into box one. Now to do that, I'm going to use sign positions to existing aliquots. And first thing I need to do is to select all the aliquots in that freezer position that I'm going to consolidate. So I'm going to go to aliquots here and now there's many ways you can do the search. I'm going to use the uh, simple search here at the list view. So I'm going to go aliquots use the aliquots tab and I'm going to find freezer position freezer section name and I want it equal to freezer 1 shelf 2 and I'll do the search and all of the aliquots in freezer in this freezer section are listed there's 97 of these now the first thing I need to do is I need to put these in the order that they appear in the freezer. Right now this thing is not in that order. It's sorted by FreezerWorks ID and by Unique Aliquot ID after that. So you can see that um, this the uh, first position here may not necessarily be the first position in the freezer. I want the positions in the freezer, that's how I want them sorted. So I'm going to change the sort. I'm going to go, the freezer section's all the same, no problem. I'm going to position one, and I'm going to make that my sort. So I'm going to replace the sort. So we have, uh, they're all sorted by first box A and box D. Okay, I need to continue and make sure that these are continued to be sorted properly. So the next sort would be, I would add to this sort at position 2. And then position 3, I would add to sort as well. And then position 4. So the first sort, second, third, and fourth. So these should all be in order. And we can see here that E1 is indeed the first position, E2, E3 from box 1. All the way to 10. This is a 10 by 10 box. And then F is next. G is next. Remember, uh, A through D were empty. We're going to consolidate those and start at A1. So E1 will go into A1, E2, A2, and so forth. So I'm going to look over this and make sure that the sort is completely in order. So here's my box D, A4 through 10, B3 through 10. Again, remember there were gaps many of these uh, Alec, they're empty positions that um, are, are, you can tell where the empty ones are as you look at the full ones. C1 through 10, D1 through 10, E7, 8, and then F and G. The sort is in perfect order in the freezer now. So, the next thing I'm going to do then is then assign new positions for each of these aliquots. Let's go ahead and do that. 
by sample management assigned positions to existing aliquots. Okay, the first thing I want to do is answer this question. What would you like to do with aliquots that already have positions? Well, I don't want to skip the aliquot. I want to, of course, assign a new position to these aliquots. Then I select the freezer or freezer section. I'll go into freezer 1 physical, shelf 2. And where do I want to start assigning? I want to start assigning at the very beginning of the shelf. A1, A1. So, what it will now do when I run the update is it will move the aliquots in this position that they're sorted in into the position starting here. If I want them to move to a different freezer, I could do that as well. But this is how I want to do it. I want to stay in shelf 2, but I want to start assigning at the very beginning of the shelf. So, the next thing I do is press update. Now, as you can see, the first aliquot is now an A1, second aliquot an A2, and so forth. And I can scroll down and take a look and see that there are new positions and they all are in the order that I want them to be in. And just doing a verification. If I don't like this, if I see a mistake that I made in some way, or I can undo, and this would undo the move. Okay, but everything looks good. So, I will go ahead and save this move. The batch update is now saved, and I press done. And here are my 97 aliquots, starting at A1 and so forth, all the way to A1, J7. So this is a 10 by 10 boxes. I had 97 aliquots. They all moved into one box. Let's now, the best way to look at this is probably to go to Explore Freezers. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll hit Close here. And now I view Inventory. I'll go to Explore Freezers. And now let's go back to the Shelf 2. And I see now there's only one rack displayed here and only one box. When I open up the box, I see that my consolidation has taken place. So the next step, of course, is to now physically move the aliquots in this order. Now the nice thing is, the useful thing here is if, if in the consolidation there is any confusion or mistakes or you, something that doesn't look right, I can always go to the audit trail. I double clicked on that aliquot and found that aliquot here highlighted. That would be uh, aliquot 100117. It's the first aliquot. And I'll go to the audit trail. Aliquot's audit trail 100117. Here it is here. I can see that batch update assigned positions was the process that was last done at this time and date. And I did change the position. The original position was box 1, E1. And the new position, of course, is 1, A1. So this looks real, this looks good. And I can do that with throughout all of the aliquots. Anywhere I see there might be a problem. So, but now, as you can see, I have a nice consolidated box, and um, I can, and that's how you would do it using FreezeWorks. Again, make sure that your sort, that you do your search, and that your sort is in the right order, and then let FreezeWorks assign the positions to existing aliquots and do the work for you.